about, about as close as you can get to out of the box is the RBS file stream adapter. So it's a free download. Um, you have to install it, configure it. There's the client you have to install. They basically took the file stream capability and SQL 2008 wrapped an RBS uh, provider right. around it so you can plug it into SharePoint through, a, through the supported blob offloading mechanism. And, but it, it doesn't do a whole lot, right? I mean, file stream natively, the storage has to be local to SQL. So there's no ROI benefit to doing it. I'm not mm -hmm. going to benefit in offloading the blobs. I'm not going to benefit by saving money on storage because it's going to be the same class of storage my database is on. And we're not talking about you have to map a drive. It won't accept that. It has to be locally attached. That's right. Well, it's the same thing when you go to create a file group for a database. If it detects that it's a network drive, it won't let you do it. Now, there's, there's tricks you can do to you know, bypass that, but again, it's unsupported. You know, Microsoft doesn't support that configuration. So I think we need to decouple the idea of file stream from RBS. Yes. RBS is an interface. File stream is? An out-of-the-box capability of SQL. And, and file stream by itself is not supported as a, as a valid method for offloading the blobs. In SharePoint. In SharePoint. They wrapped it in a provider so they can plug it into the managed RBS interface that SharePoint exposes, just like it exposes an EBS interface. Very, very, they're, both, they're very similar in how they're implemented and how we're invoked and you know, the information we, we pass back and forth. So um, yeah, it is important to understand that those are two different things. Um, and like I said, there's just not a lot there. Um, there's no, no ability to encrypt, compress the content. Um, there's no management. It's just, it's it pretty much spits a black, out everything into the file system. Yeah, it's a black box. It really was built for um, uh, an upgrade scenario. So I've got a customer with Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 running the Windows Internal Database Engine option, which is kind of the, the full free version of, of SharePoint. And they have more than 10 gigabytes of content and they want to upgrade to SharePoint Foundation Server. Your only free database option is, well, it's too free, I can, I can live in China and I can pirate the software, or I can install SQL Express <coughs> 2008, that has a 10 gigabyte instance limit, and, but then I, I can only have 10, 10 gigabytes of content in my source. So the RBS file stream provider, you can plug that into your 2010 you know, uh, server, and as you're doing the upgrade from 2007 to 2010, it'll offload the blobs. So if you follow kind of the standard 90, 95% on average um, that we work with, uh, you could take 100 <coughs> gigabytes of content and squeeze it down into a 10 gigabyte um, SQL Express instance. 